explaining the amount, amount of money needed to be backed in the world to the valuation of this token. And my, my argument to that is when they do back this token with gold eventually, and it does reach these value, none of us will own them. They're not going to back them while we be on them. They will back them after they take them from us. So what, what's the point of looking at all these numbers and saying, you know, you need a hundred quadrillion dollars. Yeah, that's true, but I'm not going to own it when they back it. So I'm not getting that money. What's the point? So when you come up with valuations, you, they, everybody's looking at all this money after their back. That's irrelevant. We won't own them at that point. So, I mean, that's an important point for people to get. So I just wanted to clarify that before we move on. Yeah, no, it, that's, um, that's one of the points that I've also been trying to drive home as well, because again, just, you know, to reiterate where you were saying, when people talk about buybacks, they think that it's this and it could be this. And so all that money in between, all the valuation between, that's what's really going to trip up a lot of people because they're expecting that, but they're getting this. So, but that means right, right. we're almost like kind of segueing naturally into the next um, topic, which is